Good morning everybody! Welcome back to my channel, Philippine Nurse Retires Home. Um, before I get too far, I would like to give recognition to the old subscribers and new ones. Um, I really thank you everybody, okay? Without you guys, I will never be able to get this far. I have so far 600 surprise surprisingly it went up about 100 subscriptions for the past week just one week but I've done a lot of modification regarding to how I do it though um, I do not know if um, I'm doing it correctly but sometimes it's against my will or against my principle of doing things like this okay first of all I changed the title that's okay and I start commenting to a bunch of channels and um, I do not demand or I do not oblige for those people that comment that I mean that I comment to to visit my channel I just want to put my my name there Filipino nurse retires home and then if they would like to visit you know and subscribe but other people has a way of doing it they will visit your channel and they would say it's starting to pop you know everywhere demanding for me to go back to the channel and subscribe to them it's against my principle but I think that's the way they do things so I put a um, note for them there I wish that you would take time to learn from what I'm trying to convey to you and learning from the videos I have because I have interesting topics that might you might be able to learn because a lot of those YouTube youtubers they're kind of young folks especially in the Philippines holy cow we are so infiltrated with a bunch of them there I do not know but anyway I said I'm, I'm gonna subscribe to you but I wish that you would do it you know so you would learn from what I'm trying to tell you anyway that, that's just the way I do things that's my purpose of this YouTube to give out a little bit of info here and there based on my experience anyway today my topic is about you know I think everybody has a turning point of their life on their lives you know it happened to me and uh, this is something personal but I would like to to, um, to just share it with you uh, so that probably it would open your eyes what happened there okay the turning point of my life is when I had my baby okay during the labor process um, my I only have one child okay so during the labor process that's when I have that experience okay it was an ICU nurse then and I was um, taking care of a Filipino nurse who has a very good experience with labor and delivery in fact she had experience I think she came from Hawaii for a while there and went to my hospital and I was really comfortable with her because she's also a friend of mine and I was so happy that she's gonna be the one to take care of me anyway during the process of labor I think um, mama or the mothers will understand what what the process is they will give you a little bit of sedation and a little bit of uh, painkiller to help out um, the process of the contractions and everything but you are awake that time but um, you'll be given what we call epidural okay epidural is not uh, it's a common thing but it's a kind of anesthetic that is more like a like almost like spinal block or a kind of breed regional anesthesia that would just block a certain part of your body where they want it paralyzed a woman who is having labor they want it from here down but things can happen anything complication during the process of insertion of the epidural can happen okay there's some complications sometimes and it happened to me they said whatever goes wrong will go wrong when a nurse is admitted in the hospital and I think I believe in that but anyway it happened to me so I was a little bit sedated that time or you know I was so comfortable and my friend was talking to me and I asked for eyes that's after the fact that they already put the epidural there okay so you have that machine machine like a box 
where they can manipulate the amount that you're getting uh, every minute, every hour. So they know exactly the dosage and everything. Back to what I was saying, I asked for ice. I was wondering it will not go down in my throat and I was starting to gasp for air. And I can see, how come my, my, I cannot breathe, you know? And I said, oh my God, Bill, I think it's the, the, the epidural. Can you please turn it off and put oxygen on me? So she slapped a mask on me. I think I was like 100% non rebreather that mask. 100% and then you're gonna be intubated after that. So she gave me th that much already and I still cannot breathe. So she turned the thing off. And I, in my mind, I'll tell you what, in my mind, I'm gonna be in ICU, they're gonna put a breathing tube on me and then I'm gonna be rushed to surgery. My daughter's, by the way, my daughter's heart rate, I, I heard it, I heard it. I, I'm sorry, I heard that it dropped from 160 down to like 100. My blood pressure shoot up to 160 and my, my heart rate was, I'm sorry, 160 over 100, something like that. And my heart rate started to go up. So all of those are compensatory mechanism of the body, of the mother and the daughter. I said, oh my God, my daughter is, my would have a neurological issue here I probably would be in the hospital for a while and I'll be in ICU they're gonna restrain me and so on and so forth God I, I heard them move the crash cart into the to um, into the room and the crash cart are those with ventilators already they got all the all the machines that would help uh, give a patient life support I said oh my god this is happening. I don't want this to happen, Lord. I was praying so hard. I have my rosary all the time there. I'm a Catholic. I have my rosary and the doctor came by and he was the one who put the epidural in my back. And he had a, a necklace with a cross. And I was trying to grab it. I was trying to grab it. And he, he started to back off. I, Thought, he probably thought I was trying to grab to grab him you know but anyway so I said God Lord if I can just get out of this I would change my ways um, you see as a nurse while well, I probably was a nurse for 20 years before I had baby sometimes when you work as a nurse you get numbed like the misery the distress the sick patients are just kind of normal in your kind of field of work when they quit breathing you just jump on them and pump on their chest and that's it you know you get your job done the whole day you save somebody's life and that's a normal thing and you get paid every every two weeks and beautiful you know life is so beautiful and you did not really have that kind of feeling of the real thing the love for each each one of your patients you might you might have love but it's just not the kind of love that comes from within but when i have my baby i'll tell you what the love i have and I, the love i had for children is a real thing because before everything irritates the hell out of me when they would cry when they would scream and they would laugh sometimes i was kind of numb about those things and um Sometimes people would cry and then I feel like, okay, that's a normal thing. They're just in distress because they somebody just uh, died, you know, or somebody just hurt themselves. It's a normal thing. But when I had that, that turning point in my life, every bit of the distress my patients had, I can feel it. And the real love I have came out came out of me and it's not only work during that time it's not only work anymore that I get paid for it but I really had that real love honestly I do not know but I was happy giving that back to them and I felt love for my companions my friends who saved me so my advice for you guys and honestly especially those nurses start 
being sympathetic and empathic at the same time. Um, share that love, not because of the money you're gonna get from patients or from the from your work. Enjoy that time when you when you save somebody's life. Really enjoy that because uh, a lot of us nurses would not really feel that till it happens to us and and uh, if if you are something like a patient yourself you do not feel that but anyway I'm glad that I felt that and that's I think that was the turning point of my life that God is giving me a chance to feel that and share it with people that's been in there for a while but I became a little bit, I think I, I became a very good nurse. That time also before this, ha this happened, I get a lot of compliment, of course. You're going to show off, you know. <laughs> but the real thing came out after my baby was born and during the process. Anyway, this is something that I would like to, to share with you. It's something personal, but it's something that people can learn from. Anyway, guys, I hope I did not bore you. I have some more topics to discuss about. It's about YouTubing and all the hardship I have to go through. Okay, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.